Today, we will be visiting the Republic of Maldives, a small archipelagic state in South Asia situated in the Indian Ocean. It lies southwest of Sri Lanka and India, about 700 kilometers from the Asian continent's mainland. In order for us to land there, we will be flying from Kuala Lumpur to Mail, Maldives, then embark on a south ferry to Mafushi. Stay one night and take another ferry to Kutahura where the main jetty is located. From there, it's a long journey up the stretch of different islands, several atolls and several hours of cruising. We stumbled across the blue, yellow Makai in Kutahura, confronted a banded sea crate while snorkeling at the Coral Reef, caught a 15 kilogram red snapper on a night fishing expedition. The main attraction was that we ended up at night, overwhelmed with microscopic organisms called bioluminescent phytoplankton while swimming in one of the laid back beaches. The chain of 26 atolls stretches from Ihavantipalhu Atoll in the north to Adu Atoll in the south across the equator. Comprising the territory spanning roughly 298 square kilometers, Maldives is one of the world's most geographically dispersed sovereign states as well as the smallest Asian country by land area and with around 557,426 inhabitants. Mali is the capital and the most populated city, traditionally called the King's Island where the ancient royal dynasties ruled. Not only this, but we will be going off the beaten journey to Vadu which is one of the inhabited islands of Ra et al, Maldives. Famous for the bioluminescence plankton, the spectacular sea of stars can be experienced in this island yearly from July until September. With clean roads and white sandy beaches Vadu is one of the most beautiful inhabited island in Maldives. online, we will confronted by another person that the price has increased due to high season. Another factor, is the Wi-Fi and the hot water shower, both which showed no or poor service. Be accustomed to excuses from these local people as they show no remorse in ripping off. Even before, we started to ask for the tour package once at Vadu, we were serviced fully with overpriced explanation tours. To dive with manta rays, stingrays and eagle rays, they will charge us overused 150. But astonishing at one point, the only tour guide there seems a bit shaken, and secret oriented, when he acknowledged that we were from Malaysia. The fact that Malaysia Airlines MH340 have gone missing, led me to the clue that MH340 was to be found very far west of Vadu. He did show signs that something foul is not to be ever found. Apparently, he said that manta ray and deep shark dive had to cancel for no appropriate reasons. If MH340 is discoverable, it will be then a wonder we can only choose the Coral Reef and Coral Garden snorkeling as our last hope of exploration. The price, he provided was to set for the price of the boat, as six of us shared. At the first Coral Reef point, venomous banded sea great snake is located. Plankter Inc. is bananas oriental sweet lips, Agapter is leucoster non-surgeon fish, Catedon El Riga butterfly fish, Scarinae parrot fish, Priacanthus hammer or bullseye, are found. Reef of Vadu Coral Garden which is then after, located west of Vadu, the corals are more complex, beautiful and saltier water. The reef slopes to a sandy bottom are at a maximum of 30 meters fish life is abundant with many varieties. Colorful baselets and damsels surround the corals with schools of triggerfish and bannerfish hovering above. Swimming northward, the reef slowly changes more to a wall. Closer to the Vadu channel the wave current changes. 
In the evening, the night fishing was a success. To be an expert, the fishermen had to cruise far out of the fishing range. At times fear of capsizing the boat was an imminent danger due to strong water current, winds and uncontrollable extremes. Luckily enough, I caught a 15 kilograms red snapper with two other person assisting the hold. The price of the trip was a good bargain, as the fisherman reassured that a try shall not be a regret. The over one meter red snapper fish caught the eye of the fisherman. A pricey catch, yet a delicious delicacy dish for our dinner main course taste buds. Lastly, the experience with bioluminescence plankton was enduring indeed. The lights from tiny marine microbes emanates which, when jostled by the ocean waters, create a cellular level chemical reaction that emits that light. The effect is startling and romantic and even disorienting when, on starry nights, the ocean appears to mirror the sky. With flickering of these tiny microbes, it has an electrifying sensation. My GPS shows we are near. first dive at the coral reef, it's quite ambient, yet it's about to rain, and can any time thunderstorm. This weather is unpredictable. The sailor men have said, if the wave current is too strong, we will eventually go back. Duff, but right. Let's jump in.
astonishing on the glances of corals. A true reflection of lively, tiny spirits that is hidden beneath these coral reefs. Tucked away of the steep corals, fishes, eels, and lobsters are shelved within calling it their home. of colonial coral. It is the only octocoral known to produce a massive skeleton. This skeleton is formed of aragonite, similar to that of Scleractinia. Individual polyps live in tubes within the skeleton and are connected by a thin layer of tissue over the outside of the skeleton. found a conch shell. Conch shells and shell jewelry are used for aquarium trade. It is also sold to tourists but be careful. I am pleased he had passed it to me, whether he wants to sell it to me or not, I will not take it due to the fact that it is illegal to bring it back through the airport. This scenario hype is like a cryptic scene of the James Bond retrieve and escape mission.
Whenever there's fear, overcoming it with warmth, to being stranded lost is not an optional norm. That's a giant moray you'll see at a distance.
After first dive trip, pretty exhausted. But we'll try to go back relentlessly to explore more. All right, the storm is about to come. Just few minutes that has been guaranteed, after we will head to our last direction, Garden of Coral.